Hi there. Welcome to the Sony Academy online classes. This is Rohit Sharma, your English teacher. Today, in the eighth class, we have started a grammar chapter that is uh, determiners. Here it is written. My dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about determiners. What they exactly are why are they used and different types of determiners so let's get started with it okay my dear friends first of all the question raises about these two question words what are the determiners so there are actually four points that are to be kept in our minds if we are going to learn determiners first is determiners are words used before nouns they are always used before nouns second point hence they introduce nouns third they determine nouns and determine nouns it means whether the noun is specific or general so these are the four key points that are to be kept always in our mind while learning determiners determiners are words used before nouns they hence they introduce nouns they determine nouns sorry whether the noun is specific or general so these are the key points my dear friends i hope you have you must have understood it now let us begin to learn about its different types in this video we are going to uh, learn its different types as well dear friends uh, there are so many grammarians several grammarians who have divided adjectives into two uh, basic groups branches you can say adjectives when they are divided they have two branches first is describing words descriptives and the second one is second branches determinatives determinatives word is grammatical word okay describing words are open class words words can be included in them i mean new words are always made they formed and uh, they can be in, uh, included in those words but determiners are grammatical so here they are now let us learn about the different types of determinants one minute we are all familiar with the first type as we have been learning it since we were in uh, toddler sections the first type of determiner is article yes my dear friends you must have uh, learned it in the previous classes they are a n the not in this way come on. second one is quantifiers like some any 
much many etc third is possess my your our his her etc there fourth part is demonstrative the word itself says demonstrate it means they are this that these and those now dear friends fifth one is distributives distributives are each every either neither and the sixth and last is number in this we learn two types of numbers ordinals and cardinals ordinals are the numbers that is speak about the uh, place like ordinal numbers are first second next last etc they show the place and cardinal numbers are 1 2 3 they show the number in total so these are the uh, six important uh, divisions of determiners now my dear friends we are going to learn about uh the first uh, division or first part of it articles okay now let us begin with it dear friends uh, you must have learnt it in your previous classes what are articles actually articles are the words always used before noun articles are the words always used before nouns to tell which noun the speaker is referring to whether the noun is specific or general there are actually two types of articles let us learn them just a minute actually these three words a m and the are divided into two groups these articles are divided into two groups first group is called indefinite article and the second group is called definite article a and n are always used before singular countable nouns
that are not specific whereas the is used before nouns that are specific before nouns that are specific so uh, the idea we grab from it is that a and n are always used before singular countable nouns and the is used before both kinds of nouns sorry i just uh, forgot to write they can be used before both singular and plural nouns noun can be countable uncountable singular plural but the noun must be specific definite only there the word the is used okay my dear friends there are some uh, specific rules about these articles today in this video we are going to talk about articles articles are of two kinds indefinite articles and definite article there are two elements a and n in indefinite articles both these articles i mean a and n have the same meaning they are used before singular countable nouns but the article definite article the is always used before specific definite uh, um, nouns they can be used i mean the can be used before uh, countable and uncountable both kinds of nouns before singular and plural both kinds kinds of nouns so the important thing is that it is to be used before definite nouns thank you